Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads the five pounds collar is uh, pulled by a cord that passes around a small peg at C. If the cord is subjected to a constant force of 10 pounds and the collar is at rest when it is at A, determine its speed when it reaches point B. Right. Um, so let's, of course, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, our 14th edition by RC Bella. Let's add some details here like so. Okay. So let's call this point here, we can call it point A and this one point B, right? Mm -hmm. And this one is the change in the displacement, S, right? Um, so S itself of course, in solving this particular problem, we are going to use two approaches. One, we want to use just the equations of motion and uh, kinematics. Uh, yes, yeah, just kinematics here. Yeah. Then the other one, we want to use. Uh, we just want to use uh, the principle of work and energy. So let's say we are in method one. Method one, all right, here uh, we are using the equations, the equations of motion and uh, kinda kinematics, kinematics. All right, there we go. So what do we have? Uh, we've been told that the force is constant. Uh, the force is constant in this direction. And if it is constant, we know that force is just equal to m a. It means the acceleration will be constant, right? So if force is constant acceleration will also be constant in this horizontal direction right of course the rope is moving in this direction in fact here we are we are looking at the the collar so the collar is moving in this direction like so okay right so that is the direction of our acceleration, right, for the collar. Okay. So let's say we have the summation of forces in the x direction equal to ma. We need acceleration for us to calculate the speed at b. All right. So what do we have? We have F equals to MAX. And AX is just equal to F divided by M. And our F is just 10 divided by the displacement, which is S. I mean, divided by the mass, which is just 5 divided by 32.2. And if we multiply this uh, half half, so this just becomes a 64.4, right? Of course, because uh, this and this is a 2, and this goes up, then 2 by this 4, 64.4. Then um, our acceleration, ax, 
is equal to 64.4 and this is constant okay so in finding the velocity we need s and s is just going to be equal to um, s is equal to ac minus bc okay which is just equal to our ac is 3 squared plus 4 squared square root and then bc is just going to be equal to 3 so i put a square root there like so so s therefore will just be equal to s will just be equal to 5 minus 3 which is just equal to 2 so let's employ now the kinematic equation since our acceleration is constant we can use this directly this derived one uh, to a s minus s node and uh, our v node is just equal to uh, v node this is at rest is zero um, our v node is zero so our v node is equal to VA which is equal to zero our A is just equal to AX and it is equal to 64.4 our S is just equal to 2 right um, is equal to 2 Um, our s minus s naught right this is the different initial uh, but our s is equal to 2 and our s naught is just going to be equal to 0 all right so in finding our v squared this is we just have a zero plus two times 64.4 then by two minus zero like so and we square on both sides like that All right Then we'll have our V as just equal to 2 by 64.4 by 2. Then square root of that, we have a 16, a 16.05. So this one is B is just equal to VB, which is equal to 16. Point zero five and uh, this is in units of feet per second right so we found we have found the solution using one technique let's use the other one in the other one we are using method calling it method 2 and this one is the principle principle of work and energy right that's the principle of work and energy so we know that the network the network is just equal to the change in the kinetic energy and the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the, the final the final kinetic energy i'm calling it 
half mbb squared minus the initial okay which also can be written as just tb minus ta and the network is equal to the total work done from point a to point b and uh, work done itself okay is just equal to the force times the displacement times the cosine theta and theta is the angle between the force and the displacement vector right so what do we have here uh, the force is in the same direction uh, the force is in the same direction with the displacement so we have work due to the force work due to the force is positive because our theta is just equal to zero degrees and cos zero is just equal to one right that's really about it uh, so let's now replace everything else so we have work okay work done due to this force and it's just going to be equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy but we know that this is equal to zero okay because our va is just equal to zero right and then writing this we do have f times s equal to half m bb squared and our f here is 10 times 2 our s is 2 remember we found these values let me put this so our f here is 10 our s is just equal to 2 and um, our m is just equal to 5 divided by 32.2 right so we have 10 by 2 equal to equal to half 5 divided by 32.2 okay times vb square and then vb squared itself is just going to be equal to uh, 10 by 2 divided by half 5 by 32 then we square on both sides right we square on both sides like so then making this subject of formula our vb is just going to be equal to as 10 by 2 divided by 0.5 by 5 by 32.2 okay um, then square root of that we have a 16.05 feet per second okay I think this is about it we have found uh, the speed uh, when the color uh, reaches B in both techniques right mm -hmm. I think this is about it and I hope this particular video was helpful and if it was Give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye, and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.